Hey, it's Old ALJ with Adventures in Homebrewing. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about modified kegs. There's two options available with modified kegs. First one, not necessarily the best one, is a lot of people are taking kegs from distributors, paying the deposit, and having a friend in a garage cut the keg up. There's a huge disadvantage to this to the breweries in that more or less you're stealing a keg from the breweries. Breweries pay somewhere between $100 and $150 for a keg, your $30 deposit does not cover the cost of the keg. Secondly is, once you have the keg, the hard part kicks in. You need somebody to modify it. Much of the modifying is done in these terrible welds, splattering, not passivated, probably the wrong material to use with it. The lid's being cut out. I'm not quite sure what this guy used, but it looks like a hacksaw or a Dremel wheel. Again, not very professional. When you look on the inside there, you can actually see the carbons rusting through the inside of the kettle. I can even see light through one of them, so whoever did it didn't even finish it properly. You've got a few negatives there. A, we're stealing a keg. B, the work is not the quality that you would expect for your homebrew. C, I just don't think it's cool. <laughs> Next is the Adventures in Homebrewing kegs. We buy brand new kegs, so yes, it's legal. It is your keg. We TIG weld our welds. Very crisp, clean, solid weld. We actually created a custom fixture on the inside so we could backfill the argon and ensure that these welds were professional. We were able to passivate them afterwards and they are a clean sanitary weld. We cut the tops out with a giant hole saw. 12 inch hole saw, perfect. You can put a lid on it, anything else. We can do any custom welding. You notice on this one, we have a weld through the bottom of it the second weld through the top of it. Clearly this guy's gonna be using it for a rim system or herm system. So you have all kinds of options with our 15.5 gallon kettles. One option, another option, really your choice on what you put your homebrew in.